the main goal for the, our clinic is is to basically help. That's all it is. is and we have volunteers. Our job is to basically focus on the government job, but whatever we're going to share here is basically apply generally for any application that you're going to apply for the, uh, any job. So, so just like the Home Depot commercial, you can do it, we can help. So the volunteers are here to help. That's all the message is. If you need any help in applying for any job, like if you, if you are not sure, just come here. There's a WhatsApp group that we created specifically for this. You post any question and we, we're going to come and help you. Just say, okay, I need help applying for this clerk job or like engineer job or how to apply for a, a, like an architect job. So that's what we are here for. That's in a nutshell is a quick intro. We have, I mean, just a house rule. So we, we have 45 minutes uh, for this whole presentation. Uh, there are a bunch of uh, people that are going to uh, give you a uh, bunch of slides. We're going to share some information like how to apply for the government job. Uh, and uh, at the end, we'll have some refreshments. So we want to finish it by 9.15. That's our target. So we're going to go very quickly. And then at the end, we're going to give you enough time to ask questions. And Brother Harris, is, where is he? OK, he's going to answer pretty much all the questions. <laughs> You're gonna answer actually. <laughs> so volunteers, this this is the volunteers. Uh, pretty much all the government plus uh, other is also in the private. He's the director of uh, which company? Project management. Project, project management. management. So he's in the private. But Haris, myself, uh, Hamza, Haris Bai, Yamin, we are all work for the LA County. So this majority of the stuff we're gonna share is gonna focus on the government jobs. And this is my last slide, then I'm going to hand it over to Yamin Bai. So he's going to go over very quickly on the how to apply for a government job. But as I said, we don't have enough time to go over how to apply for the job. So set up a time with us, a schedule any day. One of us is going to help you how to apply for a government job. It's, it's a lot easier to apply for a private job, but for government job, there are certain rules or tips that you have to do in order to be accepted and to move on to the next level, which is interviewing exams and so on and so forth. So this is our core mission. We are all here, well, volunteer. Basically, we see people, we have we, are, we, have, we have a community of people. We have, they have so much talent, and they are not applying their talent, basically. There are so many jobs out there. We see, like, day in, day out, like, people working for the government. Uh, and then we see our community. I say, why can't they do that job? And then we see some people are driving uh, like taxi or working for like 7-Eleven. These people to me are rocket scientists and they're not applying the same job that every other community is applying out there for the county. So that is our goal is to help our community to move on to the next phase of the life, the next career, or next goal. And once you get into the field, you will see why did I waste like seven, 10 years of my life doing for that odd job. So our job is to help people, community thrive by providing best advice out there and mentoring and training. So sometimes if you need training, like Brother Harris, he's the expert in Oracle. If you ask me, I am uh, I have a, like 20 plus experience in system admin, so, so as Yamin Bai and the project management. Any project you want, we have expertise there. So that's where we're going to help you, guide you, right person, so you can go on to the next phase. <coughs> And that's me. And then now it's coming by. <laughs> so um, usually for the, uh, applying for government job, normally uh, people have this kind of uh, apprehension. I don't know where to start with. So anybody who has basic, basic computer skill, like who can go on Google and search for something. Let's say if you could go and buy something from Amazon or any other uh, uh, site, or uh, let's say if you want to get a, a car rented or something, simply skills like how to go on that site. So we'll show you with that analogy how it's almost the same thing. So you, when you want a job, you actually go on that site. Let's say you want to rent a car, right? So you go on a rental car .com or something. So you go on government job uh, uh, site. So these are basically the links we actually provided where, where, uh, with uh, like uh, LA County Gov, government jobs. Uh, these are the site links where you click on them. 
you could actually land it, uh, the page, uh, you land it on one of the HR or you know, government job site. So sure. these are all the link. It has more links like you know my career and uh, you see, you know, all those links are actually mm -hmm. taking you to the website. And I'm supposed to. Would that can you guys email us this? Yes. So everything what we're sharing here, we will post it on the WhatsApp, and then uh, we're also gonna record a video. Actually, since we don't have enough time, we're gonna record a video how to apply for a job in the government. Perfect. And that that we are working on it. So once we have it, we'll upload it. Next time, website. Yeah, we are yep. live doing right now at Facebook and okay. I phones, uh, the YouTube channel. You can subscribe to this page and then you will have a whole archive. This is the highest website, right? Yeah. So meanwhile, we were talking about it. The, so normally when you go on a site, you have something in your mind, right? I'm looking for a job. Or I'm looking for a car, or I'm going to buy this. It's the same way when you come in here, you open it up, you see there is some ribbon, some information is right there. How many jobs are open? 588 jobs in open in there. Now, what am I looking for? Generally, you have, I'm just using a, uh, let's say, Amazon or a car rental, you want a certain type of car. So you actually go and filter that information, right? Like, you know, go specifically where you're going. So you see the filter here, right here. You could actually pick it up like department wise, job category wise, different. Uh, what do we exam type actually? That's uh, yeah, filter exam and type. exam type. Like, you know, what kind of car or what kind of job you are actually looking. So, look, uh, there are uh, categories like open jobs, which is open competitive. Anybody could apply with these jobs. You see promotional, 99 jobs, people who are working, and there are 99 other jobs where they could actually apply. And transfer between the department. There are 38 departments. County of LA is a huge organization, over 150,000 jobs in there. So you could actually, once we get in, there's so much flexibility to go. Uh, and you know, like not only just the department, but people switch jobs from one category to the other categories. So going back to it, uh, if you uh, click on there, uh, job for exam type. 300 jobs. So once you select this, there is a job menu open up, right? And you see very simple search. You go and click on the search and name one job. Anybody? Anybody name something? Finance. Finance. Just put a finance or accounting. See accounting and finance. We selected that. Look at these jobs. There is basic information. What is job? What is the full time job? Or if there is there is information like any other place you will go. You will see this is department, which department, whether it's open or not. If you go a little bit above, you see the information regarding the job. Now, uh, just go uh, scroll through the page, please. Scroll through the page. Oh, it's just three job. jobs. Okay, so, so only three jobs. But uh, let's say coming. Uh, let's clerk. Like, let's suppose clerk. Yeah, so, some kind of. Like, like, very simple. Like. So what he's actually trying to say. Uh, basically, there are specific or skill jobs, but there are very generic, generic kind of jobs like a uh, accountant, a storekeeper, or some kind of a driver. All kind of jobs being posted here, even plumber or uh, 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 these. So you can see through. There are a lot of jobs, and let's say you pick up one job. This is the job I want to do, right? So you uh, click on it. You see there is uh, uh, information uh, about the job, and then. Salary, temporary, whatever information, and then even if you uh, click on these benefit applications, <coughs> you will find all kind of information on the page. Very simply, you just go through it and find out whether this actually suits you or not. But this is where people actually kind of get a little haunted and go back. Uh, we will show you how easy it is to actually go and go uh, apply. Let's say this is a, a job we apply. You have to create a profile. Anytime you apply for a job, they will ask you to apply a, uh, you know, like uh, create your profile. It's basic information like you, anything you set it up, they get your personal information. So uh, let's go uh, further. So you see this section, this is what we actually wanted to show you. This is what the whole uh, uh, exercise is about. Personal info, it will just like very basic information, right? Anybody could fill, there's no technical thing on it. Uh, 
go on work. Now, if you have any work experience, it will actually like, you know, uh, basic information, it will go, I will come back to it, but for, uh, I'm just gonna go faster here. Education, any credentials you have, any degrees, no matter what, even a high school equivalency, even uh, not even high school, you could actually, there are jobs which doesn't need that. Additional, if you have certification, any kind of certification, whether you get it here on a private sector or anywhere else, you can put it in there. These are attachment. When you go on this tab, this is it actually provides this a, a pick up one, yeah, additional. See, it actually, if you put this one, it actually asks you what kind of information you want to upload. So they actually put the information, let's say, put it a resume. <coughs> so you could put resume. If you have a customized resume, which is not necessary at this time, but if you want to put it, you could actually put it. And I click another one. I just want to go through those uh, sections. Okay. Okay. And I, uh, yeah. I can't understand. That's not problem. So let's do this. Add, uh, and I can understand. Okay. Anyway, uh, we are since it's a kind of so. so okay, just go yeah, on. Let, this let one. Yeah, fine. No, yeah, this is then if if you click on this and uh, type. So if just going through it, certificate, cover letter, uh, written of information, or uh, diplomas. Uh, uh, DMV right any kind of information if you think is required you could actually uh, get the category and actually upload it just uh, that's enough we're going to go on questions so and some jobs there this is almost mandatory uh, every job has this is kind of your personal information if you go through look uh, are you currently county employee and things like that just keep going so very basic information Full time permanent, and this is kind of when you once you actually submit your application, all this information is under your profile. Normally, you don't have to change it. You just go through, uh, uh, skip through it, and you go. And sometimes in the end, they actually uh, these are all personal information because the county is very. Uh, so in the end, sometimes if they have a specific requirement, like for certain particular job. They will ask you, and uh, you will actually provide information and make there. These are some of the things which we will help you. Anybody, anytime, just set up an appointment with us or let us know when you want to come in, and we will help you. So coming back to this um, work uh, section. Uh, here, we actually, uh, this is the session where we put uh, the information, right? right. So uh, add work experience so look this is basically anywhere you work if you could go up a little bit this is duties and summaries this is a section which i actually want to emphasize a lot so this is if you could go uh i'm sorry if you could go on the main job details right here go up a little bit so say uh, just go back go back down please this is where it matters. This is normally this, and this is the uh, criteria. Normally, uh, in the private sector, when you apply for a job, you actually apply a resume. People see your resume and actually ask you for an interview. In county, there are thousands of jobs people apply every day, right? So they don't have time to go through the thing. So they have softwares, they are uh, uh, automated services, which goes and actually check your the section match with this information right and uh, we can help you i'm just giving you a brief like this kind of information they will put it if you go a little bit desirable uh, yeah so if you copy and paste the whole thing over there yeah yeah so you have to be very so smart we'll, we'll special requirement again. information right you you cut and paste he's saying but cut and paste will only give you a template you have to fill in a little bit not to like you know uh, uh, plagiarizing like uh, people will pick it up so basically you pick up this information what it does it actually lets you go through the screening uh, information once that is in the screening uh, if you're successful then it ended up with somebody's table and then they either ask you for a uh, for an exam or ask you for an interview or something normally any uh, in, uh, initial level jobs or mid tier jobs they normally have to go through an examination right 
So uh, uh, that portion, inshallah, uh, uh, Harris will cover. But going back to it, uh, basically, a uh, couple of things which I actually wanted to emphasize. First of all, like uh, Shakir was saying, there are thousands of jobs. People, government job has a kind of a permanency. Nobody will kick you out unless you do a, a big uh, mistake. So, and also it's a consistent job. There is a career path, there's, uh, you know, like you could move around, but the biggest thing is it's, it gives you your time for more education, for family and other things. There are always the up and down. So these jobs are very desirable. So a lot of people actually apply and then they could actually excel in other things as well. So what I'm saying is uh, like, most of the time when in the prior sector people get kind of uh, a little bit scared like oh i don't qualify especially when they read all these information it's like oh i don't even qualify 50 percent of it like a hundred percent uh um uh, as i was uh, talking to me earlier he says like white folks i'm just uh, using their knowledge because they are much more successful in the job market because if they qualify 25 percent they will apply for the job there's these kind of uh, capabilities or skill set, nobody has 100%, right? So the whole idea is to get in, to apply. And from any level, from very uh, element, uh, you know, initial level to very, very high-end jobs, uh, which is like 150 to $200,000 jobs, you saw if well, once you go through, you will start to find there is a lot and lot of jobs. Maybe now this is the time we actually want to uh, harvest. To so we, we have to wrap up very quick. We have three more uh, three more slides, and then we're going to give you some time to ask questions. But the main message is there is a lot of information out there. We cannot just read everything in there. So whenever you are ready, just post a message on the WhatsApp group. Okay, I need help on this day. I want to apply for this job. I saw this or whatever. You want a resume help or if you want how to create a profile let's set up a time and we'll help you personalize help that is the core mission is to help you tailor the basically requirement based on your requirement basically so that's why we i will do. emphasize what i'm saying in plain words you want to apply for a job we are here we'll sit with you hold your hand and let you apply for the job you just come in here set up a time all four five six of us will we want really to hold your hand and apply for a job. An example is uh, Ravi is here, ask him how much he actually worked with Shakil yeah. and whatever level he actually asked questions. Yeah. So, you know, the, the top basic, like, you know, everything. And then, for like, a quick exam for it, yeah. So, the, 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 yeah, will come. Oh, yeah. So, the thing is, uh, the main thing is, you see, we help you once, we help you twice, three times. And you will be expert, and then you can help somebody else. Yeah. That is the whole point, because it's so com it's so complicated. I've been working for 13 years, even working for 18 years. Even right now, when I apply, it takes me two to three hours to apply for a job. That's how complicated this is. Right. So uh, uh, that's the uh, end of it. Uh, maybe uh, if uh, uh, RS will actually cover, you have to cover or Hamza? Uh, uh, I, I can do Hamza, I can do Hamza, and then next, last part. <laughs> All right, so um, I also work for the county. My name is Hamza. Uh, I work for the fire department. I used to work for. Uh, I used to work for UCLA. Uh, same thing. Uh, the application process is really simple. I'm just going to show you how many jobs are out there waiting for you to be hired. It's just the matter of applying. If we don't apply, it's like outside our mind. So it's, it's very important to go on these websites and actually try to look for a job. So if you go here, search job, the, the links will be sent uh, through the WhatsApp group. Just right now, open jobs are in 192 records. So we'll go ahead and uh, filter these right here, like uh, Yami Mai was doing uh, for the other uh, category, uh, for the other, other website. Let's say clinical and laboratory. Search. The three records. So every record you will tell you it's a contact job, it's a career job, it's a limited job or not. <clears throat> Once you hit view, it will give you more details. So if it's contract, uh, what are the responsibilities? 
what's the what's the timing of the job if you're doing 100 percent of the job or 50 percent of the job like mean that's part time what is required what's not required what's preferred so it's very basic information let's go back and uh, look for something uh, common okay information technology search 17 records so all these jobs are open and waiting for somebody to apply so they can they get interviewed, right? That's what we're here for. So contract jobs, career jobs, the date open, date close, uh, when uh, this uh, job will uh, uh, end. Program analysis level one, level three, computing resource manager, let's say level three. So it gives you exactly how much you're going to get paid. So from starting 5,200 all the way to 10,000. 10, so this is this is a level three job. Going down, what's required, what's needed. So then again, like like Yamba was saying, if you think you know at least twenty five percent of what what what's on there, go ahead and apply. The main hesitancy is oh, so many things. I'm not gonna be able to do it. I don't know how to apply. Uh, I'm not qualified. So that's the that's where we hesitate. That 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 actually help uh, prevents us from applying to a good job where you could get hired. If you have good, uh, you know, uh, motivational skill, like you know, you, when you talk, when you're talking to the, uh, when they, when you're getting interviewed, if you answer the right question, they might like you. And regardless of uh, knowing or not knowing, once you get into these jobs, you know, there's always help. There's always training. There's always uh, somebody to guide you. Hey, this is what you need to do or what not to do. So it's very important. From here on, I'm gonna. Hand over to Harifai. Yes, so we should uh, cover uh, Azar also. Okay. Azar is uh, our uh, private sector um, helper or coordinator. So Azar has a lot of experience in the private industry. And this is not just for the government, but we also want to introduce so whoever you, in the government, the process takes from anywhere from six months to a year to get hired. This is a very long process. In the corporate sector, you can get hired much faster. So but Azar has some experience, and we can talk about that. Yeah. Thank you, Brother Harris. So, uh, you know, just like the brother mentioned, you know, there are multiple websites for the county and all that. We also have um, for private sector, you know, indeed.com. I don't know if you guys heard of it, it's very famous. I mean, you can go there, kind of search for the job just like this, uh, and you can apply for that. I think a few key things I want to mention uh, for your resumes make sure they are catered toward the job you are applying, and also, you know, use us as a resource. You know, this is 76% of the hiring that happens in corporate America is through the people you know. Right, so it means you know if you have uh, LinkedIn is also another, uh, just like Facebook, you know, another LinkedIn is for professionals. So create your profile there. You know, we all are there. Add us to your network. Uh, and then these days, a lot of people are getting hired through LinkedIn. You know, because it's easier to post the job. Uh, you can see who it is uh, from your. And uh, when you refer, even in my company, if you refer somebody, if uh, you know we get 50 to 200 resumes uh, for a job we put out there. But if you get a reference, your resume goes at the top. And that's our manager is guaranteed to call you just because you were reference, right? So definitely use us uh, as a reference, right? And the second thing is keep your information very professional. I was just sharing a data point with these guys before we started that uh, some 72% application are rejected because people use inappropriate uh, email addresses when they apply for the job, right? Uh, so small details like that are very important, right? Remember, the hiring manager is not reading your resume, it's the HR person on the private side who's reading your resume. And usually the hiring manager has given them a question that, hey, like for example, I'm a project manager, we do Scrum Master, I'm giving him some question and look for this detail and ask these four or five questions before you forward me a resume. So he's only asking you those things, right? So make sure you are prepared and you have read the job description really well. Because one of the big things that tell us that a lot of the time people will apply and they will ask them just a basic question about the job. Hey, give me an example of when you manage a project. And they'll talk about some product description. Like so, this guy doesn't understand what the what the job is. How I'm gonna forward it doesn't work. So these are small details. You know, just pay attention to them, and they'll help you long way. And again, and then reiterate the the point that these guys did is we are here to help you. Anything you need help us, reach out to me, reach out to anyone, and we'll be there to help you. Thank you. Yes, Thank you. Yes, 
Assalamu alaikum. My name is Haris, as all most brothers know. So I'm going to re-emphasize whatever the brother said. First of all, uh, when we say exam, exam is just something that they started. Before it was just an interview, so don't be scared. When, this, when the county guy says exam, it's not really an exam until there are specific say. Most of the positions say, but it's going to be an online exam. It's a multiple choice question. They see your basic comprehension. And if, you're, if any of the uh, 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 kids who have gone through the school system, it's not a problem. So basic English, basic comprehension, reading comprehension, those kind of things. So that's one of the things. And, and the link is, is, is that one right there, the shldirect.com. There is, they have breakfast tests. And if you go there, they also have a subscription service, which is, I think, $200 or something a year. Sounds big, but I would say it's a worthwhile investment if you do that for a year, if you have no uh, experience in this uh, in the U.S., that it is worthwhile. Secondly, also, there's another step. The, the current, the, I'm going to be talking really fast, I, uh, so start, we'll have some time for questions. Training is, um, I, I would say, it's very important. A lot of people, they come into the county and they are, as I say, they're very scared of what they want to do. Even if you have not, never seen computers or done anything, there are training out there. And being a Muslim, we know that we, need, we have to learn from cattle to pray. We have to, this is our job, to lean and the dunya. And we have to sustain. And sustenance is very important. And halal risk is something that is an ibadah for a Muslim. So we need to move, use all the resources. Alhamdulillah, the brothers have shown you the resources. Now, the other thing that I want to bring up nowadays is very important is the cloud. The cloud that we say, you know, everything is going to the cloud. Cloud jobs are very important. There's a website called A Cloud Guru. We don't have a reference here, we'll send it to you. They have a subscription also, $20, $30 a month or $250 for a whole year. You can take courses over there at your own pace. They have videos and then they give you labs. So we can learn a lot of people who they were attorneys that they came into IT. There were other people that came into IT. So it's not something, especially the beauty of, of being here in the United States is that you can learn at any age. If you go to any uh, night school, you will see more people who are adults or seniors than the young people. So first of all, keep that in mind that whoever you are, you can actually get into the industry because there's a lot, a lot of jobs that are unfulfilled here. So the, the next thing that I want to say is that that was covered earlier is when you, uh, you go to the job bulletin. So uh, we have a lot of stu young students. A lot of times what the county does is they would like to try before they buy. It does not really sound like a good analogy, but they would like you to do some. Uh, so if you type in student, so a lot of student jobs work, student, student workers, are missing to students. but if you type in there are student workers, student workers, student worker one, student something like that. So you see this, they start off at $50 and 30 cents. Rather than working in any other store or anything, this is a great way. And this, this way, a lot of people who are coming in, even there, I, I have interviewed somebody the other day, and this guy was, I would say in his 50s, but he's working as a student worker. You know why he did that, how he did that? He went into the local school, enrolled in one class. Now he's a student. So he got in there. There's so many ways to get in the county. Now, when people are actually, they know you, they like you, you make friends there. What happens is they will say, hey, what are, are there any, any openings? And if, again, with the county, the attitude, the way is, and, and I've worked with both corporate and I've worked with, uh, with the county. In corporate, if you know your stuff, it does not matter. You could be, the, you could have the worst attitude. You could be the guy who's, you know, saying all the bad things, but at the end of the day, they just worry about the profit. If these, this guy's making us money, they will look away for anything that you're doing. And the county is totally opposite. They say that we rather hire a, a new guy who has a good attitude and train him rather than have, hire a very senior person and one, they don't want to pay too much and then they, they want to make sure that we, they get along. So it's very important that positive attitude, once you get in, even if you get into a student within the six months or a year, just one nowadays, a lot of times, and one important thing I want to say that which I said the last time also, the students, young young people, it's very important that as soon as you uh, finish school, yeah, you, you I'm talking to you guys in the back. Uh, so when, whenever you finish school, the first thing you should do is apply for a government job. Within 20, 25 years, you will have enough time, have enough experience that after that you can retire early, you can do something else also. You know, because what really, if you have 25 years in the county, your one, your medical is paid, then you have pension, the pension program and everything like that. So those are the things which are reducing and reducing every day. But this is the very first way to get in as a student worker. Even if you're in college, you can get in like this. So that's, I mean, and if you see, student workers start, salary is starting at 47,000, 69,000, 69, 
Actually, right. IT student work is like almost twenty dollars. Correct. So this is now a lot of times we do not do this because nobody knows this. I wish I have I had known about this when I was in college. I would have started the company right away, and at this time I would have a, a decent amount of service. And in five years, ten years, because our purpose is not to work until we die. We have to work decent amount so we have something set, and then we can do our own things. You know. So that's why it's it's very important to be stable. As I mentioned earlier. That you know the risk, uh, uh, the, the halal risk is an a -bada. So we have to do the best way possible. So this is one of the resource. The other thing that I want to talk to go through to the next slide, please. Yeah. <coughs> so we, we talked about the private fund and go to the uh, uh, presentation on yeah. this slide. Yeah. Second last. In the slide. Oh, so, yeah. So this is the uh, the. So, when, when somebody used to come, somebody used to come to the Prophet, you know, asking, tell me what the dua. So, he said, the one of the duas of the Hadith of the Prophet was very important that, you know, we cannot have a without this. One of the references is this. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, you have, uh, first of all, forgiveness. Forgiveness is also that increases the risk. So, if you make forgiveness, Allah will increase the risk. Then you know there are amal. You know we should read uh, Surah Yasin or something. The day starts good. You get reward of ten Qurans. And also we made uh, effort after Fajr. If we start the effort, you know we uh, for to go look for a risk, it gets better. And we heard in the Isma lately that a person who goes for halal risk and he comes back after earning halal risk in the evening, his sins are also forgiven. So all this is connected with the thing. So what we need to do is we find the resources and we go one slide up backwards. So these are the brothers that we mentioned here. Um, these are our resources. So any of the brothers that we see, so the county employees usually work like this, so they keep up with it. <laughs> he was okay until he came to the county. <laughs> so, so the brother, we saw, um, these are the volunteers that we have. Yeah, this is the slope. But anybody that you, anybody that you think the idea is, in Urdu we say, we need to, first help somebody and then we can go so all the things because there are people from all backgrounds over there every people and, and don't worry people do not can barely speak english it's not english is not a problem you know knowledge is not a problem but the thing is you need to apply you need to get there and what this showed you in the beginning was the way to apply so we we can set up some office hours or something but it's all, all about in, in english there's a saying you can take a horse to the water but you can't make a water, make the horse drink water. So this is eventually this is the idea is that we are we are providing the resources. It's your job how you can utilize us. See? Now our if you have any questions, next slide. So let us know, and we will be available afterwards as well as in now. Now question. Um, I know it's a commercial and it will be process and everything. And you talked about private sector. Um, Applying and all those things good means that people only take English and they get the job. The private sector, you just bring the interview. I don't know sometimes I don't even look at the resume I how you why you hire about 10, 15 people, you know, within a year. Sometimes I don't even look at the resume how they look at people PhD applying for the teller job. Right. It depends on how they behave, what they talk, you know, what kind of they do. Are you going to help us? Are you going to help kids to do interview? How can you work in your skills? You know, that is an amazing question. We hadn't thought about it, but it, that's something we can raise, inshallah. Okay. Interview skills are also very important. And also one thing that I want to say uh, just before this, yes, well, uh, to answer your question, yes, we can also have, um, um, and I think we can probably have a separate seminar for this. Actually, no, we were talking about it, and the other brought up the good point. We can have a mock drill for interview. So let's suppose you're applying for like a clerk or whatever kind of job, IT job, senior IT admin. We can have like in, sit right in front of you, ask questions, and then we'll wait and say, "This is what you need to say." The main thing is confidence. I mean, that's the main thing is that you need to be very confident when you answer. Like uh, Hamza said, like twenty percent of skill will get you a job as long as you good, exactly. give a good answer. That's about it, and then you are in. And after that, is all basically your your effort. There is a place is um, um, not for relation. They teach. Did how to do uh, vocal interviews, and uh, matter of fact, I'm one of the uh, volunteers um, doing interviews with the people for a lot of Muslim families. 
So I'll get your resources, put those people into those interview sessions. Or one of you can go and you know volunteer with me and learn how to do interview and how to you know people do interview. You can use those resources in that too. But that's the main process in the private sector. If you don't know how to do interview, yeah. you will never get the job. A lot of times what they also look at, I do want to emphasize a very good point that Sushi brought up. When you be for the young kids, uh, it's very important what you post online. Because you know, a lot of times everything is now sharing, sharing, sharing. The the job people, and even even with myself, when we get a name, we take that name and we Google it. Exactly. When your social profile comes up, that's when I make the first. I don't. The people there make the first whether they want to hire this person or not. So be very careful what you post out there, and that cannot get deleted. That does not. So that will stay on forever. So if you want to be, a, a, you know, a special position. You make sure that there's no conflict of interest in the act. So that's very important. And also, the way the, the brother was saying, the interview is, is an, in another subject in itself. The, our first step, step is the application process. Interview comes second. So we will cover that as well. Yeah. But the first idea is the unique, and this is not a small process. You need to get first pass through the application process. One thing I want to focus here that those people in HR are not technical people. There are 100,000 employees in the county. They, they cannot have an HR person who knows 100,000 jobs. So there are jobs starting from plumbers all the way starting to the GMs, general managers. So these people are in Urdu, we say, and Gukha Chow. They, get, they do literally do word search. They, if the job says, you know, um, um, AI, they will just look for AI. So if the resume says that you need AI of experience, now, AI is in there, and you say, no, artificial intelligence is something I've written. They should be smart enough. Or if you say uh, they have questions, you say, see resume. That is the resume that gets rejected right away. That is the job that you See resume. So you cannot be lazy. You have to really put, even if you want to cut and paste, be very mindful. Those people, one, they're not stupid. Two, they're very particular. And, and not just this, they have now, I was talking to one of the uh, senior guys. He is creating the artificial intelligence. They would actually go look at the resume and look at the job score. Job, uh, and they would have a, a scoring system. They will see how much of this person is relevant to this job. This is all going to be done in AI. So you have to put a lot of effort into this. <clears throat> I'm surprised how those people can do it in two or three hours. I've been with the county for seven years. It takes me two to three days to apply for a job. <laughs> because I have to look at it and I have to see what I have. And then I have to read it as a person who doesn't know anything like in IT. I, I, I go back and read my resume and uh, my job posting. And um, if I don't know anything, how will I? So I know it's very hard to do, but patience is the key. In, in county, as I mentioned earlier, it took me 10 months to get in. A lot of times, it took six months or so. How, how long did it take you to get in? Yeah, it's very so. Sometimes people get like two weeks, but I've seen people they try like two to five years before they get in. But the reason why, it's not because they are lacking, but the reason why, they, just like Brother mentioned, there are some tips. We'll help you with the tips, right? like fixing the resume, fixing the profile. Like you mentioned, like you, you need to spend like two, three days just to apply for a job. That is the, that is the whole key, is to have patience. What I, what I want, is the general rule is the amount of time you spend on a job, that's how much time you have to spend to look for a job. Correct. That's what the rules of thumb is. So like as I said, eight hours a day you work. Okay. So if you don't have a job, you should go to a home or a library. Eight hours a day you need to look for a job. And that's how we can do it. And okay. that job also takes the, the training time you have. And a lot of times if you don't have time, then that's the time that you do afterwards. After your day job, you need to do. But it's not hard. So um, the other, so we have like uh, just five more minutes of questions. We have the refreshment already. Okay. So. Is there a maximum age limit? There is no age limit. What is the minimum limit? Um, I think it's high school. It's yeah, high school. It's, I think 16 they take it. No, no, not by high school. They, 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 can take, they, they, they can take 16, but there are certain programs that you have to be attached. But in order to apply directly to county, the minimum I think you can so you know, apply is something as a student working, you can come when you're in high school, actually. Right. Guys like Baruch and I, we are private sector management, finance, banking, right? A lot of people confuse us for finance. We're not finance, we're financial service. Like corporate living, I do commercial real estate lending. So I'm an expert in the credit, right? When I go through your 5,000 job, none of them matches with the title. What I do is your place called administrative manager. 
you need admission managing private bank to private world is the guy who pushes the paper over the line. Right. He's demonstrated that. So how do I fit in my how do I figure out what rule is going to fit for me? Is that you guys uh, can I can I actually answer this uh, uh, first of all the uh, uh, earlier we were talking about there are categories, right? right? But there are things which are overlapping Gee. a lot of times. So let's say you know audit uh, so, something related to audit, yes. and there's no job. But when you actually put those kind of words in the search, it will actually figure out. Uh, so uh, again, what you're doing right now is a 99% job. You're not going to find what you what you're looking for. Right? Like title doesn't matter. Yeah. Title doesn't matter. You want to get in the county, so maybe the 10% what you're doing, maybe you're lucky to do the job, okay. right? So that forget about what you're doing. I mean, the, I mean, accounting is accounting, engineering is engineering. But what you're looking is maybe uh, there's like 10% of. But that's right. So we will learn commercial real estate lending. Yeah. We do cash flow analysis. We do we look at the cash. Flow. We do analysis of the cash returns. We look at the market and all All these things I do to figure out whether it's worth giving them a 10, 20, 30 million dollars worth asking. Right? That's what I do. There, there is a CEO real estate department actually. Okay. Perfect. There is a CEO. But again, there are jobs are limited. So what I what we recommend here is to get into that one. You just get in on any job. Just get like the, I, I can tell you there was a guy I interviewed. He had like 25 years of experience on a senior project management IT level, and he applied as a clerk. And I said, Why did you apply? He said, Because my age is high. I just want to get in the company. So now my instead of 300 jobs, there's a thousand jobs are open. So, so that's what very important. Point. Now, the one thing that we were discussing, sorry to interrupt, but remember when uh, it was brought up 300 jobs and this says open, yeah. and then the second one said transfer, yes. and there's promotion. <coughs> Anybody from the outside of the county can only apply to open oh, jobs. Yeah. So now, what he was saying, to, uh, coming back to that, 599 jobs, but to you as an outsider, only 300 open. Yeah. Once you're in the county, you have 599 jobs. Additional. Oh, is there a minimum time one has to stay on the one job to be able to transfer to another one? There are six, six criteria. Usually there six, are six. Six. There are six a year. Probation. Probation. Once you start working, you want to apply for like promotion, then they ask you like you have like work experience like one year on that particular job. Yeah. Like so maybe one year is the work. Six so months to a year. Six months to a year. Easy. Uh, answer to that is, in, you cannot switch a job until you have are on probation. Probation is six months. Once you get in the county, so six months probation. for six months, you have everybody's on probation. At this time, they can, they usually don't, but they can uh, let you go. After, after six months. After six months. Yeah. Yeah. After six months. I have seen people, actually, there was a guy who was supposed to start at my job the day, and then he accepted another job. So he didn't show up. <laughs> so there are instances that happen, but again, the general rule is you finish your probation and then you start. Working. And that, that is the rule. But Again, those are the things that are like we're dealing, getting in details. The main thing is like get in the county, any job that they, even what you're looking for, if you get 10%, as long as they pay what you want, that's just get in. And so, then you, the, the sky is the limit. Basically, you, this is my actually, I'm next, starting next week, I'm starting my fourth department. So I, my, I started with assessor, went to fire, went to social services, now my fourth department. So this is how you move. And uh, I think he, oh, no, you he stayed here, but you started in a UCLA and now he's for fire department. So there, there's like so many examples you're going to see in the county, like people join as a, like my boss, he started as a student worker, now he's the CIO. So that's how, how you get And it. I'm assuming the job which required the exam, you have to pass the exam before the interview. Correct. Correct. <clears throat> but but don't, uh, a lot of times, if it's very high, for example, information technology specialist job, that is the one that they're going to ask you specific exams questions. Now, if there's something at, at basic level, all they need to know is a reading comprehension and listening comprehension. That whatever you read, you are able to understand it. Uh, so the what, what the last thing I want to say is, we are talking about getting in the county, and what what this focus was to get you into the first step, right. which is just to because this a lot of people can't get this, and what happens is they get uh, you know what I don't uh, I got a rejection letter. Even if you get a re re rejection letter, there is a process to appeal it. You can appeal it. <clears throat> so and even if, so, there's a long process. But the first thing is how to make your resume, how to post it, and how to get a response. This is what the focus of today's uh, of the, the first. Yeah, you want to bring the interview letter. 
So, and then give you the opportunity, your talent, how to get a job. Right. So, so, what do you want to ask? Is there actually raise so the just one, one comment I'm going to make. We are here to help you, but, <clears throat> but there's something that we need from you also. We want you to come with a resume. At least put something, your thoughts down, what you have done, okay, and what you want to do. At least you have some ideas because it's it's very easy to get you if you have something on in your mind. It's very easy to point you into a direction. But if to to come up and say, what do you think I should do? That starts. So that's you know, talk to us before, and and we'll do. So Sat, let me ask you. Actually, two questions. Yeah. Actually, for first question was We have to finish at nine thirty. We have to hard stop. Yes. Uh, have you searched for your answer? It's actually uh, the street is starting. What's that? The age start for two hours and 16. 16. Okay. 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 And number two, uh, for your residents, uh, do you recommend one page, two pages? No, uh, actually, you know, like, uh, let me tell you, a uh, couple of people were talking about it's very hard to apply and all that stuff. Look, initial jobs, very simple. Start simple. Once you get in and you want to get another job, elementary jobs are like you say, basic comprehension skills. As long as you get in and move on, then there is a specific. So don't feel it's a difficult thing. It's not that difficult. But getting the job is probably. So we're going to uh, stop here. It's 9.15. That's what we promised, 45 minutes, but we don't want to go over. But in a nutshell, we are here to help. We can help you. Everybody has a different need. If you are not part of the WhatsApp group, just uh, email us. Or, I mean, text us, and then we'll add you in the WhatsApp group. Uh, the WhatsApp group main message is basically post jobs. Basically, post the job that this is the job that are open, not just the government, but also private jobs. We'll post the jobs. Try not to post anything not related to the job. So, mentoring skills or any job training, anything, just post on those things. But if you have a question, if you want to schedule like a, a time, like one on one session with, with one of us. Then say, okay, I need a help on Thursday. So one, we have five people, but we have three more that work in the county. There's this also a couple of sister works in the county too. So if you want that, we, we just have to contact them so they can uh, they can Actually, work with that's them what I, if yeah. I people who are listening, county is one of the safest uh, job environment for women, especially It's the one, one of the best jobs. Yes, for for women, I think for most of the jobs, it's what? the best job, the well protected job for the women. We will post this on the website and if you have whatever we didn't answer, just post the question and we'll answer. And uh, we should have a refreshment ready. Yeah, and we are here. The job program, program is available on oh. Facebook yeah. and also IA Torrance, uh, your YouTube channel. And brothers, so, we are here for both. Subscribe there, you know. Do what we allow. Always subscribe. So, yeah, come <laughs> see us personally also. Yeah. 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 Yeah.